welcome to ISTV English News. Now let's take a look at the headlines first. MLA Yamtong Hauke produced before NIS special court in connection with case of arms missing from second MR. And three dead, one injured as speeding car hits parked truck on Tidim Road. Now the news in detail. MLA of Cycle Assembly Constituency Yamtong Haukip has been remanded in judicial custody for 15 days by the Special Court of NIA in relation to the case of missing of 56 9mm pistols and 58 magazines from the arsenal of 2nd Battalion Manipur Rifles. The court denied the bail plea of the accused. The state cabinet had decided to hand over the case to the NIA after which the central agency has been investigating the case of 2nd MR arms missing case. The NIA had raided the residence of MLA Yamtong Havgip and recovered some weapons and gold ornaments. However, as the MLA complained of health problem, he was treated at Sky Hospital for some time and then taken to Delhi for further treatment. Council of MLA prayed the court to grant bail on medical ground, but the court refused and ordered this remand in judicial custody for further investigation. Nine numbers of 9mm pistols stolen from 2nd MR have been recovered from UKLF Chief Sasson Haukip's house. In a continued investigation conducted by NIA for the stolen 56 9mm pistols and 58 magazines from 2nd Manipur Rifles, the team raided residence and farmhouse of UKLF Chief Sasson Haukip yesterday, the rebel group that is currently under suspension of operation with government of Manipur. The NIA recovered the stolen 9 9mm pistols from his residence at Mantripurkri as well as from his farmhouse at Palel yesterday. Besides, out of 56 9mm pistols stolen from 2nd MR, the NIA has been able to recover 14 till death. According to information received by ISTV News, further interrogation with some persons are presently going on in connection with the investigation. In what could be termed as an unfortunate incident, three persons got killed and one injured as speeding central car hits parked Tata truck on Tidim Road. The incident happened last night at around 10.30 at Changangai Makalekai on Tidim Road under the jurisdiction of Lamphel Police Station. The deceased persons were identified as Thokchom Prendlit 29, son of T.H. Ibomcha and Kangabombobi 23, son of K. Madhu of Changangai Uchekon and Sagosem Rakesh 30, son of S. Bir Chandra of Mayang Imphal, Maibam Konjil. The injured person has been identified as Lashram Santos 27, son of L. Sunil of Bishnupur Ward No. 1. According to info information received by ISTV News, the Tata truck bearing registration number MN05C1519 loaded with cement bags coming from Imphal broke down and remained parked at Sangangai Makalekai on Tidim Road. The speeding central car with registration number MN05J0669 coming from Imphal hit the park Tata truck. The unfortunate incident happened when the people and police were assisting to remove the Activa which hit the same Tata truck before the speeding car hit the park truck. Lamphel police have registered a case to investigate the incident. The bodies were kept at Reims Mortuary for further medical legal procedures. Director of Transport Department C. Arthur has stated that 139 persons were killed and 1,190 persons were injured in 605 road accidents from 2013 to 2017 in Manipur. The director was speaking at the inaugural event of a one-day national level workshop on road safety at the auditorium of Manipur State Film Development Society today. Speaking further, Arthur said, the workshop was organized to raise awareness on road safety among the people of state. He mentioned that at least 1 lakh people of the country die and over 5,000 get injured in road accident every year. The director said that India and China are the countries with highest road accidents in the world. In the last five years, that is from 2013 to 2017, 139 uh, persons were killed. About 1,117 got injured in about 605 road accidents. So the figures are not uh, small for a state like Manipur when we talk in terms of size. Uh, the technical part, uh, the uh, team of officers from different departments will be highlighting on, the, uh, on it. 
Students, officials of private transport services and officials of relevant government departments attended the workshop. A technical session was also held at the workshop. Women vendors staged a sit-in at temporary market shed demanding justice for the custodial killings of G. Ziteshwar Sharma, T.A. Satis, R. K. Ranel, T.H. Prem and P.H. Nauba. Speaking on the occasion, Chairman of Committee on Human Rights Manipur, Fulindra Konsa maintained that a person cannot be killed without legal procedures. He termed the brutal killings, burying of the dead bodies, leaving it untrustable to the family member unfortunate. Government of India, na silly version of plan, marung na awang na pokta, lai ba sipai sing na, adu ma makoi makoi ki promotion tana na ba, iwa klo na na ba, dalin tu yawa maya mama, amal madhi esip maya maya mama, lo na na ba, adu kum ba, polisi, arun ba mihat, matong kung dapat mo klo maya mama. Misam Prasad Pishan Ba, Asimha Maya Mahama Satrak Pai Ba Se, Very Unfortunate. Yang Na Sheng Hai Ba Da, Mani Pua Ma Se Awang Na Pok Si, Yang Na Ta Sheng Na, Adung Ba Inan Army Singh Ki, Ma Khoi Ki, Yang Na Arun Ba Mihat Ba Pham, Pata Ba Thabok Ta Pham, Terrorist Ki Thabok Maya Mahama Satrak Ba, Loi Na Na Miyam Singh Ha Se, Tum Na Ha Na Na Ba Adung Ba, Eto Ni Tlinsang Ma, Satrak Ba Ba Hai Ba Se, Ma Se, Himi Rai Ki Ma Ki Di Ki, Ay Ta Sheng Na Ay Hang Jari, International Law Ki, Na Ta Ki Inan Constitution Ki, Ta Sheng Na Mi Bu Bisa Tok Duna Ha Pai Ba Se, Beneficiaries deprived for benefits under Manipur Building and Under Construction Workers Welfare Board locked its office at DC Complex. General Secretary of Manipur Building and Under Construction Workers Welfare Federation Soibam Birmani said the beneficiaries were deprived of benefits provided by the government since 2015, which have caused inconveniences to the beneficiaries. He appealed to the authority concerned to distribute the benefits at the earliest. Sin misi ni demand si tapi tapa masih kita tak nak kau lawan level minister concern level minister aku lawan level CM copy tu aduh kau governor aku kira hanya pas langsung second demand tapi betul ni nana kira ni mungkin ni betul tu tak cenderung lagi dengan masih bawa tapa kau nontol tapa masih normal mungkin nana aku ni zaman budi meeting ane tak tahu apa masih ane show meeting aduh zaman budi ane tak tahu masih bawa tu aku ni tahu sahaja kita kau ni masih agitation si kau tahu jawab ni. A torch procession took out last night at Eco in Infalis district against the brutal killing of. Pukri Hongma Memi, who left her house on August 14. The protesters demanded to produce involved persons at the earliest, save women's lives as well as the government should make the people aware that law still exists. Hearing of Kulem Ziten of Naramthong Kulem Lekai, who shot that his two uncles, was held today. Following the arguments of APP and Defence Council, the court decided to the last hearing to be scheduled on August 31st. Pounding Coal and Evening Daily observe its 28th Foundation Day at Manipur Press Club today. President of All Manipur Working Journals Union, Brazendra Ningoma, publisher of Pounding Coal, El Mangi, and councillor of Ward No. 11, M. Joy, attended the program. A special edition of the newspaper was also released today. Awards were presented to the dedicated staffs of the firm for their distinguished service. Brazen Ningomba maintained that Pounding Coal has shown the true spirit of journalism by overcoming various obstacles. There is no restriction that a journalist has to stick to a media firm. Situation arises with change in time, he said. There are certain instances where freedom of speech is being misused in social media. It is need of the hour to save the rights of the journalist as a whole. <laughs> DDO Imphal West Cage, Dhana Chandra opened the service point of first ever cap in Manipur, Lamzingba Cap Service on Dreams Road today. 
Lumsing Cap service, which was launched in October 2017, is providing service to the public utilizing a total of 38 cars. Speaking to media persons, managing director of the service said that opening of the new service point will help in improving their service and reaching out to more customers. Smartphone by the way, Targazu, a quicker mitre or booking togani service, Logani, I have seen the booking counter, Sidagi, Logi, Yagani, Aduga, Anisuba, any equigi service, Pija River, Bakel, Singsida, Puran Sinti, Togiba, any issue like a problem like Matamda, I quiz Hitagi, Hyderabad counter, Sina Songi problem, Singsibu, Tana, Vigida Mutta, quit Hong Launa Hanguna, Tamli, Hibazima, quit Tamzadi, Tart Pointa, any kind of quiggy pot sitter and the Hova, a rumal the Giho. President of Nomai Kong Awang Social Reformative Association Salam Joy cautioned of launching various forms of agitation if government's decision of establishing second home of Sangai at Pumlen Path is not withdrawn. He was speaking to the press meet organized by Nomai Kong Apunba Mairapai Biloop and Socio Economic Development Club, Nomai Kong Youth Development Association, and Nomai Kong Awang Social Reformative Association at Manipur Press Club today. He further said, Establishing a second home of Sangai at Pumlen Path is a means to snatch the livelihood of the people in the area. There is no floating biomass found in the area as well as no vegetation for Sangai. The step to place Sangai in the area is a measure to cause extinction of the rare species Sangai. Manipur, the third river in terms of cruise, I be so quick in missing a trap of over from the river. Although, Hama Lady Mamapomas, the Sung Cham Singapurna, Mulan Passita, Matokamaitana, Quigi, Nasi Langana, Amade, Wildlife Institute of Science, Na, Forest Department, Kamaito Ganda, Sangai Yupaya, the Mapon, the Sangai. Tamba have said, Sangai Mamba the Nantana, a coibagi, young kin, a coiba the labor, sixty kilometer, a coli was a gas, the lady of the section could not say, Mangi Payabagi, a kibodo, Masima Simulari. Upon burn Nupilo Bishnupur, Kada District Committee, Bishnupur, local clubs and Mera Pibis dismantled liquor manufacturing areas at Upopi Manning Loktak Project, Mamang Saroy Lok, Mapal, in Bishnupur District on June 15. The this is the seized utensils were handed over to the OLH home, children home and mentally retarded children home in Bishnupur district. President of Apunbanupilo Bishnupur Pramo said, intoxicants must be banned to bring, bring peace and harmony in Manipur. The increasing rates of crime in Manipur are due to use of intoxicants. Manipur Assembly's decision to pass Manipur Likar Bill can be considered as the government is not at all concerned for the people. <laughs> ปัตตบะจีเห็นจะเลยให้เด็กดําตั้งอาสิคงจะกะยามะจังจะบ่มาจําสิจะคะระผระกระไอ้นะคะเลยอะดูคะระผระกระคะละกาอินเนี่ย
Yukthong kundingi plastic na imong isutandre, adon eh hinggol ko yung dawa wapot haudre, adon eh bazar da unti yung view. Namun tuyens na patta ba haudi mayam hapsel laga plastic mayam thada ba dunah, madre na sum siyan giba dage, lokta ako patta ba nga mayam siba, nga do ko insa ba dage ilay na kaya leba, dage mo ay lampak kung bata plastic mayam si patta mayam thada upa da sa san sirak ba, sum ba mayam miyo bigay hatang da patta ba mayam lag ba. Sika ma ini tahu lagi aku di paper be making sna mahot keras senjata ngangguda ki hai bawa kelu antara itu pasi ki plastik ki bag ki mahot ta paper bag si orang antuk nasi hai bagi bawa kelu si tham jawab ni. Kontosam MLA AK Mirabai inaugurated the core headquarter number one of Universal Family Organisation West Division today. Ex MLA of the constituency K Sarat, Zilla Parisat member of Urembam Gram Panchayat T S Nilamani, and Zilla Parisat member of Changangai Gram Panchayat S Majid were among those present at the event held at Kontosam Lairambi Community Hall. A book entitled Chinkai Hunkre was also released on the occasion. Former Registrar of Manipur University, Dr. R K Ranjan has asserted that the culture and tradition of Manipur will be the identity of the state as long as it is not intermingled with other culture. He was speaking at the 29th Foundation Day celebration of Maite Lining Loop at Kurai Ahongui Lekai today. Ranjan stressed the need for a joint effort to protect and preserve the dying culture of the Maites. Luching Purel of the organization, Kundongbom Mani Maite and President of Neroka FC TH Arun Kumar also attended the event. Awana pagi bersa, apun bermata parang deh bermuda. Magi magi sinpam da, mitoi mihel berming hakta payah bo. Awagi lami da sebab lekang da, maduna amuk Thailand da, etek to budu sini ya. Kase cavalry hand tua lekang. Mitoi sinpam da hakta payah kang da, makoi gigi kunai ya do sokar ukan aku da. Adu kumpa as ayah sing sing ado, yahul lekat tau ya. Adu nene bermagi ning tau gigi, konum da maite gigi kari gigi. Maya amam yahul lekang, thamnai bego kos bo, maya amam leh. President of Neroka FC TH Arun Kumar stated that the language and religion of the Maite are dying out due to lack of attention. Vice President of NEIDP Manipur State Unit Oina Malaysia has declared that the party has withdrawn from the core committee formed by 11 parties to jointly address various issues in the state. The Vice President was addressing media persons at the party's office in Tera Sapam Ledak today. Malay stated that the party resolved to leave the committee as every party continues to focus on the respective party's motive instead of initiating joint steps after the committee was constituted. Maranai, maranai. Magi, magi. Individual loy na sa nerak pa. Siya miba committee for kung kung committee siya. Sigi belu o matale nerak pa. Ako na sa lo ragasu yano freely momento bang magtap pa kaysi. Ado na laybak miyangi kanzer raga. Ako ay hari pa party taramat pa kaysi tagi withdraw to kaysi ay ay na. A sit-in was staged at Naimisang Community Hall in Sagolban, Tera Lokrapam, Lekai against the extension of Article 371 Close A or 6 scheduled in Manipur today. The sit-in was organized by Lokrapam, Lekai, Akham, Lekai, Apunmanupilo. Various slogans were also chanted at the protest demonstration. 371 Article 6 scheduled in Manipur today. The sit-in was organized by Lokrapam, Lekai, my whole world is like a girl, but I can't get any more. 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 Young Stars Sporting Union Andro distributed uniforms to volleyball players of Andro Maching Park Youth Club. President of YSSU K S Samjai and President of AMYC H Mangal attended the event held on AMYC campus. Office of Horticulture Department at Moray Ward Number no. Seven, Haino Makonglekai, has been lying unattended by the authority concerned. 
when reporter of ISTV News Sanjoy Pet and inspection visit to the office, staffs of the department intimated that the office has been functioning in a rented house since 2003 and that the staffs are facing a lot of difficulties as the department has no quarters for the staffs. They said that despite frequent inspection visits by Horticulture Minister Shyam Kumar, no works have been initiated yet. The staff drew attention of the government to look into the matter at the earliest. And now the headlines once again. MLA Yamtong Hauke produced before NIA special court in connection with case of arms missing from 2nd MR. And three dead, one injured as speeding car hits parked truck on Tidin Road. That's all for today and thanks for being here.